Okay, here we go. <laughs> a group of university students designed a small rocket for an upcoming competition, they installed a tracker to record the statistical data of the rocket's flight. One particular launch can be modeled as follows. So we've got time and height. So you would put this into L1, this into L2. This is my X variable. This is my Y variable. So that's probably a good idea to do that. Um, meaning that every single point on the resulting parabola will be time and height. Okay, that's probably also a good idea to indicate to yourself. So I will do this from scratch. Okay, so I clear everything that's in there. Uh, be careful with the time. So it's not always going to be going up by one. It could jump. Just got to be very careful. So then it's 595, 54, 13146. All right, so I'm just going to double check one more time. There we go. So you go stat, calc, quadratic regression, second one, comma, second two, comma, alpha, trace, select Y1, and run it. So the first thing I would do, okay, determine the quadratic equation, just say stat, calc, quadrate. Okay, that's a good enough. And then you just tell me the equation. So that's negative 26.81x squared plus 616.35. I'm going to write everything down just in case. And that will be plus 5.995. You could do two decimals, in which case that would round to 6. Okay, because uh, this 9 goes to 10, bumps this to a 10, bumps that to a 6. So that would be acceptable as well. Yeah. Oh, it does not. Yeah. It doesn't uh, store it into Y1, correct? Is that your problem? That's how it's Quadrate. So you want to say store equation in alpha trace. But you know what? I'll just change that. Mode is going to turn off the stack wizard and we're not going to get that on So now it's going to be the same as last. Okay, continue. So, okay, here's the, here's the kicker. If anything is wrong, according to the province, it's minus one. Even if you typed in, like, we don't know what happened. So you, you lose the mark here. But then everything that follows, we, like, I would have to actually type in your equation into my calculator and follow through with your work thereafter. So as long as thereafter you're fine, you get the marks after that. But not the equation is wrong. It's a minus 1 automatically, okay? So what's the initial height of this rocket? Uh, you would say 5.995. Feet. That's all you would need to say there. Or six feet. It's up to you if you run around that to two decimals. And I, I simply understand, oh, this is my y-intercept. That's the initial height at time zero. It's this, okay? How long did it take for the rocket to hit the ground? I need to find my x-intercept. So y2 is equal to zero. Second trace intersect. I haven't even graphed this yet. Do you know? Have you noticed that? Okay, I haven't even graphed this thing, but at this point, I need to figure that out. So I'm going to hit graph. It's not a good graph. So I'm going to go y equals, turn on plot one. Then I'm going to try zoom and zoom stat. Okay? And notice it only focuses to the points. This is, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video when, I, when you watch this, but you need to go to your window, I would immediately ch change my x min to something negative. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever you want. But I would, I would make that a little negative because you want to see the y-axis. So you need to have it to a negative value there. x max, I can tell that I need to increase that. I'm going to go 10 for now. Look at this. The lowest y-value you can see is 349. That's not good enough. You need to see the ground. So 
I'm actually going to go negative 5. Right? I'm actually going to go below the x-axis. I'm going to leave the rest for now. Let's see what happens. Very, not good enough yet. So I'm going to go back to my window. X max, I'm going to triple it. Y max, I'm going to go 5,000 for now because I can tell that it's going up yet for a while. And so you zoomed into these points, but you need to see the whole thing. So that's a bit of an art to do that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to focus in on here. That's, that's when it hits the ground. So second trace, 5. I will scroll closer to that point. That's close enough already. And just hit enter three times. It's 22.999. Okay. So that would be 22.9994. Okay. So you can say 22.999 seconds. Or you can just go 23 seconds. Okay. Because if you round this to two decimals, the 9 is going to bump that to 10, to 10 to three, okay? So either one is fine, uh, because it's not money. You can do as many decimals as you want. State the domain and the range of this situation, okay? Maybe you need to do this for yourself real quick. We're starting six feet off the ground, boom, shot, shoots up, and then you hit the ground, correct? That was way off, sorry. So you know that this is 23, let's say. This is zero, 06. This is 23, 0. So you can already do the domain here for sure. Starts at time 0 and stops at 23. So for the domain, it's 0 to 23 or 0 to 22.999. It's just a rounding error if you got that wrong. For the range, what do I need? The max, the vertex. You need the vertex for it. So I need to figure this out. Okay. I'm going to go second trace maximum. This is the vertex. You need to go to the left. Just think of Beyonce's song, to the left, to the left. That's always how you start. Okay. And then right. Beyonce? Who listens to Beyonce these days? I bet you a lot. Yeah. There you go. 1149. That's the coordinate of that highest point. That's called the vertex. But I'm honing in on this. And it goes from zero because even though you don't start on the ground, you do end up landing, right? It lands on the ground. So zero is included all the way to 35, 48, 44. Okay? It never asks for the maximum height, so you needed to find it. Here's where the marks are going to change. I'll give you one mark for the domain. I will give you one mark for you finding the vertex. And then a mark for actually stating the range. So this is going to be out of three. Okay. That's how that is going to change. The graph is very... Okay. So now I want to make my pretty graph here. So this is time in seconds. Height in feet and I need to accommodate my x intercept which is 23 so let's see here 5 10 15 20 25 works like a charm okay so that's good enough you're telling me that I'm going up by fives uh, and then the the maximum height is 35 48 I'm gonna go to 4,000 that's just my the way I'm gonna deal with it so I'm gonna count Five boxes is a thousand. Another five, that's two thousand. Another five, three thousand, and another five. Oh, this is not the greatest, right? Right up here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is four thousand. So I just made it fit. Okay. You cannot have this right on the origin, right? Because this is zero six. So just have it slightly above, like that. 23, this is 25, right? So 22 and a half would be here, 23 slightly over there. So we've got those points, and then the vertex is at 11, 49. So somewhere here, and 3,800, that'd be somewhere there. We 
guys do you do rocket experiments in physics? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? You should suggest that. Just don't say that I give you the idea. So, uh, I'm going to make this three, not two. I'm going to make this three. So, again, if you want to write this down, one is for the scale, one is for the shape, and one is for labels. That's how I will mark every single graph. So, unfortunately, if your scale, if I notice that you use, you go up by four boxes, all of a sudden three, that'll be a minus one. Okay. But then you still have a chance at the other two. What labels, I would do half and half. So, half for the equation and another half for labeling X and Y. And then the shape, what does that mean, Mr. Gerson? If, if the point, if any of those points is like way off, like if I look at your scale and those points are not where they're supposed to be, that will affect the shape of your graph. So that's where the one mark for the shape comes from. Okay? So in total, we are at one, two, three. Another three is six. Another three is nine. So this whole thing is actually worth nine. And uh, we're not doing the back side. Okay, so it's just this first page. Nine, so put it at the very top here. Cross out the 13. Make this worth nine marks and your name and last name on there. And 